Hi everyone, and today I'm gonna to be speaking about money. Money, and more money. Everyone wants more money. Why, why, do, why does everyone want more money? I will say at the start of this video though, because this is what all people do who have not got a financial background, that this video does not contain any financial um, advice. And I do not give financial advice in any, any shape, way or form. However, I'm gonna speak about my own experiences about money and you know, you take from it what you will and or don't take from it. But it's worked for me and there is a high probability this is how it's all set up, so it may work for you. So whenever I found myself going, oh, you know, money, kind of, that kind of, you know that that feeling you get that it's it's not quite working i've either overspent i've spent beyond what i'm getting or you know i've had some negative thinking about money like i've, I've been stressing about some bill that's coming up rather than taking action you know breaking it up find a way to pay it over time or, or whatever it is um lack thinking you know thinking negative thoughts about money uh, you know, in the in the past, you may have grown up where money wasn't such a positive subject in your household. And this is not to blame people around you, but how you how how the people around you, how your environment conditions you from the ages of zero to eight, you're going to repeat that pattern unless you you start to do some work on your thinking. And then those they, those views may be still affecting you whether you. Like, like to admit it or not and you're thinking negatively about money how do I versus I can't afford it this is a big one if you can get over this one it, 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 it really changes how you how you think about money you know you may want to buy a house and you go I can't afford it now that direction you're, you're heading towards I can't afford it and you may even end up getting a house and you can't afford it and you you're late on the bills and and the bank takes it over or whatever or you may go how do i if you can shift that slightly and, and condition yourself to think well how do i make this happen uh, again it's positive thinking attitude thoughts feelings actions right how do i do this and then really taking action is is really a, a huge part of this whole process about eliminating and really squashing that negative thinking because if we if we're always thinking about money as a solid thing it's all it's fluid it's always fluid money is really just energy right it's, it's flowing in and out it flows into me I pay someone else it flows to someone else and they go and buy their shopping it's, it's always flowing it's just energy and if we can really tap into that flow then you're halfway there you're halfway there um, and it's 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 really really expanding that. And I've been through the ups and downs, and 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 I, I used to have a have a money blueprint like this. And then when it goes down, it goes like beyond zero. And then, right? So, how do you get it to go like that? Is by really shifting your thinking, thoughts, feelings, actions, your attitude towards money, and really embracing that relationship with money. It's. Um, you know how I liken it to is would someone want to be around you if you treat them really badly and the answer is no treat money the same if you look after it if you respect it treat it kindly you know when you get it you look after it put it away you know have some respect for it it's gonna stick around it's gonna be there for you just do that just do that really simple action and start to think positively. Uh, I have multiple streams of my income coming to me continuously uh, every day. Whatever the affirmation be, be, just start to create it and start thinking, talking, focusing on that every single day, five minutes a day, and see the shift. See the shift in your thinking first, then the actions that you take, and then the outcomes, the, the feelings that you have, and then the outcomes. So, if you got something out of this video, please give us a like, subscribe to this channel, and I'll catch you on the next video.